Hey guys, it's Lane with CraftyLifeMom.com. I am sharing with you today a tutorial on how to save SVG files to your Silhouette Studio library. So if you are a Silhouette user, this is the process that you will need to use to save all of your SVGs to your Silhouette library. It was requested that I share this video for any Silhouette users out there who may not know how to do it. So today I am going to show you my screen to show you exactly how you can save all of those SVG files that you get from me, other bloggers, or even the ones that you purchase to your Silhouette library. It takes just a couple of seconds to do, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you from my desktop how to actually download the SVG file and save it to your library. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is open your Silhouette Studio. I'm using the Designer Edition, but I believe that this tutorial will be the same for all versions of the Silhouette Studio. Once your Silhouette Studio is open, you'll have a blank canvas and from here you will want to go ahead and open the saved SVG file. So whether you purchased it or if you downloaded for free the SVG file from my blog or another blogger, you'll want to open that file in your Silhouette Studio. So in this case, I downloaded the Pumpkin Spice SVG from my own blog and it's in my downloads in a folder. So I'm gonna double click in the folder and then you will see all the different file types. Sometimes there's DXF, PNG, JPEG. You're going to want to open the SVG file. That's the file that goes with Silhouette. And sometimes the file opens up a little large and that's perfectly fine. Just resize it down to fit nice and neat within your mat and that will help you um, see it a little better. So once you get it sized down, um, what I like to do at this point is um, go ahead and ungroup the file. So if the previous designer grouped everything together as one, you might want to move the word spice season up or down a little bit. So what I like to do at this point is just kind of highlight and ungroup the entire file. And as you can see there, every single letter, every single graphic within this can be moved. Um, that's okay if you want to leave it this way, but I recommend either keeping it as one or keeping each word as one piece of the file. So once that's done, you know that you can work with the file and move it how you want to. And then what you'll want to do after this is put it into your library. And before I move it to the library, I just want to double check that the file is ready for cutting so that I know I don't need to manipulate it or do anything to it. And so I send it uh, as if I'm going to send it to the Silhouette machine. And I double checked here that yes, everything will cut nicely. So now let's go ahead and actually save this file to our library so that we can use it in the future or whenever we want. You're going to want to go to Save As and you're going to want to choose save to library. If you save it to the hard drive, you'll just be saving it to your computer and that's already in your computer in the downloads. So make sure you click save to library. Then a window will pop up and you'll wanna name your file so that you can easily find it. In this case, I'm naming it pumpkin spice and then that's it, you'll just click okay. And now this hello pumpkin spice season file is saved in my library and as you can see here, my Silhouette Studio has named it pumpkin spice. I'm gonna go ahead and close that and then let's try to reopen the file using it from our library versus our download folder. If I open the library, you'll see that I have several designs here that I have created, I've gotten from Silhouette Studio Store, or I've downloaded um, from other bloggers or other resources. So my whole library is here of all the different uh, files that I have used. And if I'm going to be searching for that same pumpkin spice season file, you'll just put in the search and you'll see that it has come up. There it is, so it is saved in our library and you'll just want to double click that to open it. And it should open right into your Silhouette Studio and it's ready for you to go ahead and add to it or send to your Silhouette cutting machine. And that's pretty much it. 